hi and welcome to day one of week six of Bulgarian training. This is also day one of me becoming a morning person. Uh, here I am training in the morning. Uh, I slept five and a half hours because I had so, you know, I'm just stupid and I didn't turn off my phone. So I slept five and a half hours, woke up 5.30. So I uh, went to bed at midnight, woke up 5.30. Um, this workout was started at six o'clock in the morning. Um, I was super tired. And you're going to see that in the lifts. First, the squat. <sighs> um, I felt it was slow. All right, it was just... Mm, to be me, it's slow. And uh, I'm still happy I was... I increased the weight and I'm still holding on and still going with the same program. Uh, but that was difficult. And uh, I'm really hoping that this week I'll get into the habit of waking up early because next week real school starts and then I have to wake up instead of at 5.30 a.m. I might have to wake, wake up at like 4.30 a.m. I might have to wake up at, you know, like I said, 4.30, which is pretty terrible. Overhead press was also really hard. It just stopped and my right arm was further down and, whew, difficult. But it still works. Um, the thing is, when you're so tired like I was this morning, you get like a headache and you just feel kind of just tired and like on the rows I was having difficulties with just my breathing and my cardio and I've I've got great conditioning you know I jump rope for five minutes straight which sounds easy but it's really hard and like I've I've I'm in, I'm in good physical condition but I is you know it's early in the morning so I'm just completely trashed and I'm I'm doing all this heavy breathing and whew Power clean was also really hard. I didn't get it high enough. It was just, ugh, not good. I was like, no. But you know what? I did all the work today. I went in there. I completed everything, which is the most important. And that is a mat, which I'm using for the deficit rows. Now, you will notice, uh, if you look closely, that there is some glue on my right fingers. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, that, that black glue, it's not dirt. Uh, I haven't not washed my hands. It just sticks to your fingers a bit like rubber. And it's it's not impossible to get rid of, but it's pretty difficult. And that's from, from my job. I was uh, gluing stuff. And, um, you know, some glue got through the gloves on my right hand. And that's just stuff that happens. So that's why I have dirty hands. It's just glue that's dried. But, yeah. As you can see here, already on the first set, I'm having difficulties. Uh, I'm swaying my body back and forth using body English. These rows were just blah. I'm just I'm just gonna keep increasing the row reps and just really try to keep the the rows clean, because like last week's deadlift um, two days ago was fantastic. I smashed 142 and a half. This week I'm gonna hit 145. So for me, my priority is just to just to keep on doing the rows, keep on putting a lot of effort into the rows. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as I strive perf for perfection, the muscles get worked really hard. I'm I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have gained enough to be able to uh, increase my deadlift another two and a half kilos. But I know that these rows are these rows aren't ideal, but they're also off a deficit, and it's three sets of fourteen. And if you look back through these videos, I think I started at, I mean, well, I wasn't filming the first week and a half, but I started at three sets of eight unofficially. So I've increased by six reps, which is a lot. And I've also added a deficit. So I'm really, really feeling it, but it's still possible to complete the sets. But this is, I'm pushing it. I'm pushing it here. And especially considering that it's early in the morning, just everything came at once a day. And I'm not worried about it. I'm not sad or angry that I had a bad workout. I mean, as I'm filming right now during this voiceover, I'm closing my eyes because I need to rest my eyes because I think that the lamps in my house are too bright. So, um, like I said, I'm very, very tired. But the upside to this is that I'm going to be able to rest the whole day and then sleep and then have to train tomorrow morning. So basically, I have a complete 24 hours, almost 23 hours to uh, rest, and then it's time again. But yeah, I'm really pushing it here in these rows. 
And you'll see I'm having to take a deep breath and reset for every single rep. I'm like shaking my head like, come on, Ivan. I'm just pressing through, adjusting. And I only take one breath per rep because otherwise I could just go on forever. Um, so I'm like savoring that one breath, like just taking the longest, deepest breath I can take by being that tight. I'm like, Ugh. one more. All right, that's a pretty bent back. Yeah, that's, if that's not failure, I don't know what is. I'm like compromising my technique to get like three more reps than what is possible with clean form. So yeah, I'm working hard. Chin-ups were also really hard today, but not like stupendously hard. Um, I think I had good form. Um, could have gone even further down, but it wasn't bad. Um... I did 14 chin-ups here. Um, I also increased reps, as you already know, on, on my rows and on my chin-ups with the same rate. And um, the goal is to do 20, three sets of 20 on the row and one set of 20 on the chin-up um, in order to deadlift 160 kilos in about, God, I don't know how many weeks, probably, shit, it's six weeks, six, seven weeks. Holy shit. All right, anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and um, I'm going to try to go to bed at, like, three or four hours earlier. At least three tonight. We'll see. Good night. Oh, no. Good morning. No. Goodbye. Goodbye.